Thoughts, Alex? Uh, thoughts, uh, Jeff De Luna from the Philippines, the favorite, of course. But you know, Jasmine, she can play well. It's all about, I think, having making a good start, getting nice open positions, start to feel comfortable quickly, and, and maybe mount some pressure on Jeff. And Roberto, you know about Jeffrey De Luna more than anyone here. Of course, of course. I know Jeffrey De Luna more than anyone else here. And we've been practicing every single day. So these uh, players are really ready. Let's uh, let's see. A question, uh, Roberto. Like you've spent a lot of time with uh, De Luna. You've been competing in uh, multiple events here in the Metro and Pool Series, the World Cup of Pool, uh, World Pool Masters. You've been talking, I guess, about the difficulty of playing out there and, and what went well and what you could do better. Is there anything you can share with us about his ambitions? Oh, yeah, he has a, uh, he has a very high ambition. Uh, Jeffrey De Luna is like, uh, his, uh, his motivation, his motivation is, is, is there. Like his motivation is a very high, uh, um, uh, he's a very ambitious uh, player. So, Yasmin wins the lag and gets to break off. Nice impact on the one. A couple of kisses that help her get in position. She has an open shot. A little body movement on that break. Saying that. that, it's it's difficult to generate a lot of speed just by the arm, just by using your arm. She managed to do that well. Wow! <laughs> it almost hang up in the pocket. Look at that! Look. Just about good enough. On many occasions, it'll be the player's intention to use the full width of the pocket so they can hold the cue ball in a better position. It's a good start for. Uh, it's a good start for. For Jasmine, and Jasmine is a strong player too. With an angle on the five. Using one rail, make give an angle to the six, from the six to the seven. I don't know exactly since yeah. when, but I see that she has changed her stance. A little more of a snooker stance. The back leg straight. Yeah, in these 30 seconds, in these 30 seconds uh, shot clock, you have to be like, you're changing, you have to change everything and move fast and think fast. That's uh, very important in this tournament for you not to struggle. But well, apart from the rattling one ball, she hasn't struggled. Break and run. Very purposeful good, start from Yasmin Aushin, and she doesn't just play well, she talks well. Earlier today, she did this interview for us. After one and a half years of COVID, not playing really any tournaments, it takes me a while to, to get into match mode. So, and I think I found that in my first match, so I hope I can take that field uh, in my next match with me. He's one of the, the big names, you know, coming from the Philippines and a uh, tough uh, player, of course, if he gets rolling, you know, especially with this format, um, there could be a lot of runouts. So, uh, but I'm trying not to focus too much on my opponent and just focusing on my game because I can't influence his game, but I definitely know I'm playing a big name today. Aushin lost 9-6 to Konrad Szczyszyn of Poland in her first match. He's a fine player who is 
subsequently qualified for the last 64. She is well capable of beating anyone, and she came very close to winning the Women's World Nine Ball Championship in 2019, losing in the end in the final to Kelly Fisher, who's playing on an outside table as we speak. Second right. Jasmine Ocean to break, leading one right to nil. Even stiffer and stronger than the strongest wooden shafts. Gives you just a little bit of extra oomph on the break. Needs to play a push a out women, here. Oh, I saw a, a women uncle. player, a, a woman player that breaks like, wow, like breaks like a man. It's like, yeah, I saw, first time I saw Jasmine Ocean is doing it. Yes, she has a very good break. In nine ball, if you make a ball on the break, you continue. Now, if you don't see the ball or if you don't like position on the lowest numbered ball, you can call a push out, as she did. You can play the cue yeah, ball but, to any uh, position, and this then the incoming player has option. But this one is, uh, I think this one is a bad push out. Yeah, she tried to hit the five more full. Leaving the cue ball on the rail. Wow. Roberto, they call Jeffrey De Luna the bull. What's that all about? Okay, uh, they call Jeffrey De Luna bull because he Look at him, he is like, he, he breaks really, really like a bull, and he plays really like a bull that is so, uh, he's so aggressive on the table, is so focused, uh, that's why they call him the bull. <laughs> and Jeffrey likes it, <laughs> Jeffrey starts, and look at him, he always, he loves to draw the ball from end to end, he loves to play hard all the time it's like a bull that's why they call him the bull well i've got my explanation there alex how about that <laughs> yeah it needs to come with another big one straight back the four ball to the pocket low right yes i i think he can bank he, he, he can bank ball. this he can bank this and put the, the cue ball on the uh right side of the rail and if he missed the bank, he can. She will have a long shot. For me, that's the idea there. Oh, but see, now <laughs> you see why they call him the bull. He's ripping he it. <laughs> he loves to play those shots. He loves to slam the ball all the time. Well, if he keeps on not getting position, he can keep on doing that. Yeah. He'll do crazy shots, but this one, I don't think so. He will play safe on this shot. Boo, boring. <laughs> boring. Nice shot. Nice yeah, shot. Very boring. <laughs> you have to bang it, draw the from end to end, and position on the six. Hey, this is a good safety. This is a good safety, I think. What do uh, you play? What do you play, Robert? I'm Let me going pick your to brain. Cut, I'm going to cut, for me, I'm going to play safe. I'm going to cut the five and try to use two rails and go behind the nine or behind the six. Or bank. That's what, Ooh. that's what I'm saying. That's, good shot. That's, that's the right shot. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe she, 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 she heard what I said, but I'm inside the booth. Wow. Well, heard what you said. She has the resume that wouldn't fit on a toilet paper roll. Look at this 30 seconds uh, shot clock. You have to bring both of the both of your jump cue and playing cue just to be sure if you need to jump or because it's too fast. Yeah, you think it's too fast? 
yeah, 30 seconds is like not really that fast, but it's fast enough if you're not uh, if you're not used to this. But to me, if you ask me, 30 seconds is fine to me. It's perfect. But some of the players that really not into this uh, shot clock, they get struggled all the time. Yeah, it takes getting used to. Yeah, they will get used to it. You don't have in this 30 second shot shot clock. You don't have. You can. Yeah, in it in this 30 second shot clock, you don't. You don't have to to use emotions or anything. You have to move fast yeah. and think fast. Decide quickly. Yes. But let me stipulate that Jasmine has made two awesome shots in this rack. The safety after the Lunas. The resave after the Luna save and that long roll shot off the rail. She's feeling good. She's really. She looks she ready. She looks so ready. She looks like she's really in focus. She's. Her eyes never get away on the table. That's really a big sign that she's, wins the she's, she's really in focus. The five ball was absolutely excellent. Jasmine Aushin leads 2-0. Jeffrey De Luna has got a few problems. I feel good, so it's gonna be like uh, Jasmine Ocean. Actually, she's she's really good player, one of the women top player. But I'm not I'm not thinking of that. I'm thinking of my game. What's going on on the table? I, I'm just confident on my break, hard break, my white ball. I'm always control in the middle. I'm not pressure about the lose or uh, lose or winning. So I'm just like enjoy the game, enjoy this event. Always smiling, although right now it doesn't feel like smiling. It's the fact that Aushin has played two delightful racks and seems very confident. That's the one thing about her, Alex. She is well used to being centre stage in front of the TV cameras, playing cool and beating opponents. The third right. And every player and will experience break, ups right and center. downs in their career. She definitely seems to be on the up, looking really sharp, having put in a lot of practice. Not only that, oh, she she's so sharp right now, and I heard that she's she's preparing herself. Like somebody told me that she do the jogging yesterday. I think yeah. yesterday some the somebody triathlon, told me she do jogging the whole stadium four rounds. That was like, wow, what a dedication. What is, uh, what a motivation she has. So, she's so ready. She's... <laughs> Feel to make a ball on that break. Maybe overpowered it a bit, but it's not easy. Below, you see the numbers and the colors. The lowest numbered ball, the blue two. Next shot is the three. Is tied up with the nine and five. He moves a lot there, but this shot he can use a right spin to break those uh, clutch uh, to clusters there. He can break clusters there, but I think it's better if he will. He can easily control the the clusters to break the cluster if he use follow. Through yeah, if that he goes shot. forward, forward, and he moved on the shot. And he moved. It looks like. That's a nice save. You can see the ball, but I don't think I don't think so. There's a counter save on that well, shot. Well, just ball go to the top rail, hit it as thin yeah, as you can. Yeah, the only thing she can do for me is like she can put the cue ball on the top rail. That's the only thing. If if the nine five is not lined up as a combination. Yeah, but the eight maybe the nine five to the eight of the eight mm. extension call. We cannot see it clear in this screen, but and otherwise really soft. Just really soft. Ju just Touch. bunt the three to the rail. Bag the three to the rail. Just a nothing shot. That's on what I see. That's the only shot he can get. Well, 
that's decent from where she was. If that three ball does not pass the eight ball. Stern look. Interesting wreck this. And much more important for Jeffrey than for Jasmine. This will be a top rack to run. One ball at a time. Make the One three. One ball at a time, play safe. One ball at a time, play safe. That's yeah, so now she could play a carom on the eight, but I Caram think she'll the play eight. the top side of the four. She can get the cue ball to hide behind the six and the four behind the five and eight. Looks like she has a natural angle for that. If she has the natural anger for the carom to the eight, she can... Oh, that's a good cue ball control there. Jeffrey will use the two rails kick here. Nice. Try to put the cue ball behind the five. Oh, oh, he can see it. Needs to watch out for the scratch. Cue ball to the pocket. Jeff is moving a lot. He's a lot. feeling it. He's, he's feeling still, it. He's still, like, he's not yet, <laughs> he's not yet warmed up. He's, he's nerves. <laughs> Listen, Roberto, stay like still. all the players will say in the interview that they focus on their game and not the result and not the TV, but um, playing against Jasmine being one of the top representatives uh, for the females in nine Point ball, uh, could that give him extra pressure? Yes, that's true because I know Stop myself, the first time I played to the girl twice and I lose because I it's it's hard to play with, with I don't know I, I don't know it's just how different to, it's really different just like they feel pressure to compete here oh oh, oh Jeffrey my, that's a ball in in hand you know what that is it's mayday mayday <laughs> danger sometimes zone. I, it happens to me it happens to a lot of players focusing on the cue ball breaking the Trying to break the object, uh, the uh, trying to do the carom with your. Sometimes you you're not focusing on your angle. Sometimes you. That was a big miss. Well, there, fellows, he was a, a bull in a china shop. He's done potentially a lot of damage. That's an okay safety from Jasmine. It's not watertight. But I think she's thinking very clear. She's playing what is there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> there is an easy layout for Jasmine here. Mm, easy. Yeah. Just she needs to make that four. He, he, yeah, that's the only hard. I think that's the only hard <laughs> hard shots she needs. Then after that, layouts are kind of basic. That's it. Just be good enough on the six. The seven is sitting ready. She'll check how low she needs to come with the cue ball for that seven ball. Bring back the cue ball where it is. Yeah, and that's it. or a little bit, and then pack the seven and go to the short grill first. Well, I don't think that's a good idea, but can he play full, full, almost full ball? 
Oh, All the seven, like I don't... Yeah, I think he can draw it straight. I think. It looks like... Oh. Nice little bump. Nice little bump, <laughs> this. One inch to the left. Would have been an awful shot. Now she's in run-out position, in prime position. To yes, consolidate but this, yeah. that 3-0 lead. But this one is sensitive, uh, especially when you use a bridge and the cue ball and the object ball is too close, same like that. You can double hit the shot or... But you need to play it fast for 30 second shot clock. It was a multi-purpose bridge. She took the elevated side of it to head down on the cue ball. But she is so And also down right now is right. Jeffrey De Luna. How about this for a, an early scoreline? The great Filipino player trails Jasmine Ocean by three racks to zero. All around this Marshall Arena, pool players are playing for their lives. Over on table two, after suffering a defeat in his first match to Craig Osborne, the great Ralph Suke trying to remain in the tournament. At the moment, leading Kevin Lenoy 5-4 with a chance to make that 6-4. Thank you, Rack 4. There's been ocean to break. Leading three racks to nil. By the way, we know Joshua Filler's opponent this evening in the qualification match for the last 64. It will be Sergei Lutzka. A 
lot of power. Because of it, the loss of the cue ball. Not that one ball just a bit thin. Well, you can see the three ball and hook behind the seven. Well, about uh, Jasmine Ostrand, she, she's really nice person because we were in a uh, breakfast today and I took a picture with her and do some video and she's really nice. Uh, yeah, she was nice then. Yeah. <laughs> She's not being nice now. Uh, she was nice then, really. I, <laughs> I'm shy to talk uh, to her, but it's so comfortable to talk to her when I talked to her a while ago in breakfast. She's just a nice person. I never this one. <laughs> Roberto, you're shy. I can't believe that. <laughs> No, I feel Extension more. Call. I feel more pressure here than on the table. I don't know why, but yes, I'm already here. This will help me control the pressure. <laughs> nice. I like it. shot there's little time ample time 30 seconds per shot but a couple of times already in this match Jasmine uh, with little time on the clock chose the safety that would guarantee her to leave distance between the two balls that at least and managing he, he don't have a choice but three. to try to cut this tree on the left Extension corner goal. Wow. Looks like the angle looks like he don't have the choice but to cut the tree. Basically. Try not to hit the seven or scratch. It's kind of risky shot here. Oh, and look at that. Needs to be lucky. Oh, great effort by De Luna. But it looks like his hook. <laughs> On his facial expression there. <laughs> Beautiful shot. Double kiss on the seven, but is denied the shot on the four. But I think he can use the rail first, but it's a tough shot. He has playing defense, a waiting shot. And she has the, I think, a free shot here to bang and put the cue ball close to the five. It's a steep cut, the bank. I'm, I, I agree, she can play de the defense as well. Defense at the same time to... Make sure to miss it thick, to miss it on the yeah. second long rail. Yes, you're right, but... She don't have time to miss, that's the thing. <laughs> she don't now have that's time. a positive mindset. <laughs> th that, yeah. that, that's yeah. a real strong mindset. If you're 30 going, second shot clock, yes. I don't have time to miss. You have to decide what you're going to do. If you think you can bank it, just focus on banking it. Yeah. And it's again a uh, an easy layout to Jasmine on that incredible shot on the four. Like chemistry of the match has changed now. Four balls to get to a 4 0 lead. She's in the lead with the momentum. She's now the favorite to win this match. Even though it's winner break format, she's playing better. She's playing yes. good safeties, good Sh shot making, good break. She is really. As I look in her eyes, she's she has a tiger look. But anything can happen in the race to nine. Especially anything can happen in the winner's break format. So it's 4 0 to Yasmin Aushin, and a very interested spectator up with Michael Bridge is 
Yasmin's younger brother, Albin. Yes, thanks very much, Phil. Yeah, Albin, very good start from your sister. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she played some great shots. I think uh, Jeffrey made some errors, but uh, yeah, I think it looks like she got the tools to, to win this match. Flawless, flawless performance so far. She looks in the zone. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she, she lost the first one, a little bit unhappy. She made a good run back. She fought hard, so uh, second chance now, and uh, she plays very good, yeah. And you're playing later. I know it was such a frustrating match for you last night against Roberto. Yeah. Talk us through it. I just had to look yeah, at him. Yeah, yeah, look at Oh, he's waving box. at you. Yeah, he's, 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 he's laughing. Out of order from him. He's, <laughs> he's having some fun. Yeah, it was a tough one. I mean, he played uh, brilliant in the beginning. Uh, I came back after his mistakes, but uh, it was not enough in the end. It was quite an epic, but what's the big disappointment, though? You, you, you know, you come back, and in the end, it didn't really matter in the yeah, end. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, you fight hard for almost an hour, and then uh, you don't win the match. It's hard to take, of course, but uh, I've got a second chance tonight, and I will take it, definitely. That's what I like to hear. No more giggling from you in the commentary box. Absolutely unbelievable. We can giggle, just not Roberto. Black five. You know, Jasmine Ashen has produced some extraordinary things over the years. How about winning 29 European Women's Championships? 10 eight ball, 10 nine ball, six straight ball, three ten ball. I remember a World Championship 10 ball in the Philippines, maybe 10 years ago, where she got to the last eight with the men. Wow, that's a you, I think finish. you were there. Um, I'm not sure if I, that was 2000. Mm, 10 or 11. Oh. Got to the last eight. Played really good. Well, Roberto, in your World Championship 2007, when you were beaten by Daryl Peach in the final, she got to the last 16 of that, beaten by Warren Kiamko. Where's she going with the cue ball? Follow for the window between the three and six for position on the two. That's we need to, you know, will that seven go? I think uh, that the seven goes in the right corner uh, on the on the left on the left corner pocket. Yeah, I think you can have a. I good think position. she's looking really good. You know, I knew, I know, we all know that she's well able to string racks and pocket all the balls. But, but her defense and her control of the game, like winning those little safety battles. Yes. It's, I think it's, that's it's the really pivotal element in this match. She's getting the first shot. Seven goes. We can see yes, it now seven, clearly. Yes, seven clearly goes on the corner, uh, on the left, on the right corner pocket. Yeah, seven goes as long as you can put a good position on that seven. Yes, so it's key now. In nine ball, many times you, you play three balls ahead. You plan three balls ahead. So seven needs a good position. So from the four to the six. Four to the six, you have to important make now. a big angle dirt. Oh, she do the other way, but yeah, you yeah, would so have maybe you like to stay low on the six, to low go on two, the six rails two rails, in, yeah. and make good position. Because if you're seven. playing two rails after the long rail, you're coming into the seven. Into the seven, and now not she's crossing the seven. Yeah. yeah, crossing the seven is really hard to control. You have to also for the side pocket on the left, and that's a perfect, a perfect position that everybody wants to do <laughs> very nice this hmm. break and run five zero coming up she won't let this slip Roberto Gomez in with us watching his good pal Jeffrey De Luna go 5 0 behind Jasmine Ocean playing some lovely, lovely pool. Now, what about table two and the battle hardened Ralph Suke? 6 4 up on Kevin Lenoy. 
from Belgium. Played in the recent World Cup, did Kevin. Suke now, very much a veteran, but what a career he's put together. When you think about it, he's won the World Masters on six occasions. Hard as nails. I spoke to him earlier, said, how you doing, Ralph? He said, hanging in there. Well, don't write off Ralph Suke just yet, even though he's got to win this match and one more to get to the last 64 tomorrow. Well, Alex, how about this? Not just an extraordinary scoreline, but Ashen's playing beautifully. Yeah, she's showing it all. Good defense, good tactics, break and runs. We don't rack get six. Out her killer instinct. She's, she's a break. killer. Leading five racks to I don't see her falter because of the 5 0 scoreline. Probably just make her play better. Look at that. to go fully in vision but not for a pot after the break one minute one minute to find a good safety you can nice put angle. the cue ball cue ball behind the eight using two rails yeah but where do you bring the yeah one? the one ball is like he has the chance she has the chance to to put it behind the seven that's it. If I you're think playing a cue ball safety, like the cue ball behind the eight, behind you would eight. like to also control the one. To th behind the seven, but uh, it looks like she's doing the other way. But that's a good shot there. Very nice. It's a very nice shot. Mm, difficult hit for the Luna. Eight balls on the short rail in the way. Can get to the right side of it, but then needs to play with left to check the cue ball. You can see he will use the one rail. He can see half, just half of the ball, which is, I think he can he can spin the cue ball, jack it up, and spin the cue ball two code. rails. This is dangerous. This for me. is really a dangerous shot. From the shot. long rail, a he's aiming for half a ball, and he's and aiming a half a ball and a scratch, and, and a scratch, and no. No, you cannot see a high percentage on a safety counter there. But if he will use two rails, like jacking up like that, he has the chance. Like, that's... That's mm. a good shot for Jeffrey. Got a lucky. good hit. Yeah. If you make a legal hit, you put yourself in a chance, in a position to get lucky. And he was due. We cannot say, but anything can happen, even though it's uh, on this score. Most of the players, they don't think about those scores as long as the game is not yet done. As long as the Extension match. Call. Wow. She cannot reach it. She tried it. Can I get comfortable she will enough kick on the table for the jump? She will kick one rail there, try to put the, the one ball behind those cluster uh those three balls in front of him in front of her three quarter ball hit at least or thicker it's a good hit Q will touch the rail there's a room there's a passage for the one past the two ball might be tight it's the opportunity that he needs Jeff Deluna. We've been waiting a long time for this chance. Back to center table. How are you? Low to seven. For the purple Using five. a right, right hand. He's used to it. 
I know him, he can play left and right. We'll check his angle. Stop shot on the six. Draw a little. Seven on the left corner pocket. Imperative he takes this chance and hard to believe he won't. speed he made a perfect speed there yeah, left-handed can reach this nicely first point on the board Eureka for That's Jeffrey De Luna. De Luna he finally gets a rack on the board is that the start of a sustained fight back I wonder we will discover whether he's gonna get back into the match the ball after the break The first two days of this World Pool Championship have been really busy. Not gone too well so far for Ralph Suke, but he's pulling himself back into the mix. He leads Kevin Lenoy 8-4 on the hill after that nine ball disappeared. Thank you. Rack seven, Jeffrey De Luna to break. Trailing one rack to five. 
Another interesting scoreline just before this rack gets underway. Kelly Fisher leads Ricardo Cini. 8-5. She's on the hill. First break for Jeff De Luna. Here comes the Watch bull. this. Why they call Jeffrey the bull. Uh-oh. It's close. <laughs> For his standards, this was medium speed. For ours, this was like hard. Been very close to scratching, and now has a very super close. fine cut nice. shot on the one. Wow. Uh, I think he had shot. no choice there but to cut the one because he cannot see push or cut the one because he has no choice to play safe or whatever it's a great cue ball control but she can still, she can still see, see the, the ball yeah. slide there cut the one try to put the cue ball behind the six or the five it's just thin. leave the one ball on the rail. Elevating, maybe she's trying something different, otherwise she wouldn't elevate your Best shot. She could play with the level Q. Yeah, it's kinda hard to control when you when you elevate the Q. No no but I'm saying it, your shot she would not need to elevate. Yeah. So I the think fact that she's she elevating maybe she's she sees enough of the one to maybe hold the cue ball up the oh, like that. Like that. She can, but she's yeah. trying to use a spin so the cue ball can run faster. That looks a good shot over there, but and even if it's an easy jump cue for It's an easy jump, but the yeah, five you get the purple five is blocking the one. No, I think uh, you need to use. Uh, it's easier to jump using uh, using the five, one of the five. You think it goes? It looks. Yeah, it it looks like it goes. Just to hit. If you hit it, uh, if you cut it more, I don't think so. You're going to miss the the shot there, straight or okay, more yeah. cut. Yeah, this is dead. That's yeah, what this call. is it's a dead straight. Dead, stra dead, dead like straight. It's set to go. Was it frozen? Yeah. It's <laughs> it looked frozen, but it I was don't know not. what happened there. But I think the one ball hits in the middle of the pocket and in the five, like no. perf That's the only way he can miss the ball. And that's a bit unlucky there. A bit unlucky. It also was a good safety by Jasmine. Yeah. And. Uh, Heck of a chance to extend their lead, get back to a five rack gap. It's Don't think it's good. Based on her reaction, yeah, I think it's not good. <laughs> the so five makes things difficult to play some sort of a safety. I think he she needs to use a little spin there, try to cut the tree. Or oh what? Oh Ducks. what a shot! What a shot! Two rail kick and stick. Kick and stick. Oh, yes. she hit that perfect. Wow, that's, that's an incredible shot there. Her, her play is good, her cue ball is good, her defense is good, but especially her mental game. She's, she's mental. so convinced, at least that's what she makes us think. You can see she's really unfocused. She's really like I don't think in ready, any ready. shot in this match have I seen any sign of hesitation. Everything, 100% commitment. Yes, uh, she's so positive in everything. She's, uh, because, uh, that's what we call the killer instinct. Look at her. 
look at her eyes. She was like... <laughs> How do you say killer instinct in Tagalog? Killer instinct uh, in Tagalog, we say it. Uh, like, uh, wait a minute. That's uh, kind of tough one. I'll get back to you. <laughs> take a minute. <laughs> it will take a minute. Let okay. me think first. Oh. So back to the five. And as before, the seven, the ball in the most difficult position. So her position on the six must be good. Must you don't be want good. to do you don't want to do too much work. Too much, yes. Getting to the problem ball. Just bounce out of the rail a little so he can he can use this, uh he, he can make a position on the seven the same packet. Cross over, six, yeah. yeah. And you almost want more angle than little angle on yes. the six. And it looks like yeah, she's still fine there. Wow. She's still okay there. She can use this rail, a little inside spin. Yeah, but hey, there you say something. A little inside spin. The check side on this table, I find it scary. It's scary, yes. You can that's also true. choose to use less and stay high on the seven. Yes, that's true. She played the positive shot, loaded that cubal up with spin resulting in a miss but actually i think it was caused by the shot on the five where she left herself difficult on the six and on this position i think it's 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 hard to it's hard to put the cue ball where the where this thin on the seven oh but you can play be tin, and will be happy to have a shot at least. Tin on the seven, or I can play. For me, I can play. Three rails around the eight. Put the seven behind the nine and cue ball behind the eight. I think you'll cut three rails around the eight. Uh, I don't think so. That's a good shot for him. But I'm going to play. I still control the game if I'm gonna play True. seven behind the, the nine and cubal behind the eight. Yeah, but now you, you've played all that one pocket in Houston. Yeah. Now you know <laughs> how you can learn to control the game. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Three years ago you would have attacked yes. the seven. No, uh, when I was like twenty, I'm gonna get I'm gonna shoot everything. <laughs> Give me an angle, I'm gonna shoot everything. That's why the more you learn the more you get the experience, the more you can <laughs> wait. <laughs> can <laughs> wait. You have the patience in the yes. game. But this is the first positional error, a big one by Jasmine. Self-inflicted. Now a lot of pressure on this eight for Jasmine Ocean. Two balls missed now, and you just sense the tide. If DeLuna can win this rack, the tide might well turn. Yeah, she missed a beat there. Not on purpose, but a cut shot like that, try to overcut. If you miss, you want to overcut. Miss it on a pro side, you're not going to leave anything. Jeffrey DeLuna. Great shot there. Hold the cue ball. Well, that's a great shot. Yeah, it was a good it's shot. It's kind of tough one to hold the cue ball on that angle. Jeffrey Delune. And then right. bad position on the eight. And the missed eight thereafter will definitely plant the seed of doubt in Ocean's head. OK, let's have a look around the outside tables and some news for you of Ralph Suke. We saw him going well, and certainly not to my surprise, he has defeated Kevin Lenoy 9-4. So Lenoy goes back to Belgium. Suke hangs around. Another winner to tell you about is Kelly Fisher, who beat Ricardo Cini 9-5. been a good afternoon for the women competitors because of course Christina to catch had a win as well over Tobias Bongers as the game of 
Ashen, though, started to become a little unglued. It should have been 6-1. She knows that. Looking right in front of her, Jasmine Ocean. Okay. And looking next to me, Rock Roberto eight. Gomez. Definitely the commentary right. in the booth there was some uh, distant coaching I saw here. To your buddy? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to say good luck yeah. to him. Yeah, nice try, Gomez. <laughs> oh, different oh, break. Oh, he changed the break style. Now it's, it's a good one. It looks like... More controlled. More controlled. Look at... I think he's going to use it all the way. The rest of the match. The yes. rest of the match. Yeah. It's probably been told to him a thousand times that his brake style, like the power brake, looks very cool, but maybe not the most productive. Yes, it's not the most productive brake because but everybody is trying, but he likes it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. he, okay. That's why every player's um, opinion or, or every player's strategy, but I don't think so. That's a, a But he'll leave it in the box. For, for this match. Yeah. Now get to the five. The purple five is close to the nine. If he stays below the five. And that is... Uh, there was more room for position. Okay, behind the nine. Stop yeah, the cue behind the yeah. nine. But be careful that the five will... Be, he can bank the five on, on, on the right top corner. Yeah. That's a good shot. Wants that five ball to stay away from the rail. Turn the rail, yes. The more distance between the short rail and the five ball, the more difficult the hit will be mm. for Jasmine. Now, if she plays a one rail kick shot off of the short rail, it's very sensitive for left and right. For me, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use the two rail because there's a higher percentage yeah. for the cue ball to separate on the five ball. Yeah. Or because there's the seven ball. Fox row. Ball in. Yeah, the pressure is mounting on Jasmine. Start the clock, please. All you can do is try and stay calm. Jeffrey's still struggling a little bit, but... I think he's getting more comfortable than... He's First couple match, yeah. A whole lot better than when it was 5 0. Yes. When he missed that ball in the hand. The ball in oh hand, my. that was a big deal, big thing there. It just shows he's really not in that focus on that time. Yeah, and this time. And this position, time. It looks good on the six. Doesn't he can draw to. it back. Yeah, but. He's going to be further away from yes, the seven. Yes, and it's going to be missable. He needs to control the seven to the nine. It's going to be on the top one. But I don't think so. You have no choice but to throw it a little. Oh, why? Is All right, fancy that's the his seven. choice. Did not fancy the long cut shot on the seven. We know he's an extravagant player, but this isn't an exhibition. It's the World Championship. Got a bank it here. Low right, straight back. Low left, using the nine as a potential blocker, but... He leaves her a tough shot there. Hmm. But all you have to do is um, make the ball because the nine is already there. So ball. just all you have to do. Yeah, all, all you have to do is make the ball. You don't yeah. need a position there because it's all about precision. Very precise, also on the cue ball. No unwanted sight. And stay down upon delivery. Well, you can 
tell. And she's feeling the pressure. Didn't look too smooth, the backswing on that shot. Consequently, the follow through. This could be a very one sided scoreline. But Jasmine Ashen having led 5 0. Or should I say, having led 5. Yeah, it was 5 0. Having led 5 0, she has suddenly started making mistakes. And now Jeffrey De Luna is back in the match. Already through to the losers' qualification match, it is Ralph Suke. And we caught up with him just a few moments ago. Ralph, many congratulations. You knew the target was must win and you did that, so you must be very happy. Yeah, as of right now, I'm, I'm quite happy. Yesterday, you know, I lost my first round match, which is obviously always uh, hard going into such a, a big event. And uh, yeah, and after yesterday, I said to myself, well, the single elimination stage is going to start a day earlier. Yeah. So, and that's how I look into the next matches here. Yeah. And how would you assess your performance just now? Um, it was quite similar than yesterday's. I mean, even yesterday I played quite uh, well at the beginning. I was up 5-0 and then for some reason I just forgot to, to close the door. And, uh, and today I had a bit of a rough start, but again, I, I, I caught up and uh, finally uh, finished the job properly. Yeah. And Mika Imanen next, it's the battle of the world champions. It's quite an incredible story. Yeah, it is. I mean, we, we've played so many times and we played actually in the championship finals 2001, I believe, where Mika beat me and uh, many times together on the Moscone Cup team and uh, yeah, and lots of other events where we played and, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a tough one, yeah, for sure. Tough one, but exciting. We really can't wait for it. Many congratulations. We'll see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah, Suka Imanen on table four this evening. On table six later on, it is going to be Kelly Fisher against Christoph Reinches on half of the German World Cup winning pairing from a few weeks ago. You called it, Roberto. This will be Jeff De Luna's break for the remainder of this match. Yeah, I think especially every break you made and you win the rack, the, I think either ways you can say, oh, this is the lucky break, I'm winning every rack, or this is the lucky break, I, I get a shot on the one, so it's the same thing. I think he will use it all the way till this. I mean, I mean, the whole match. Not easy here. The well, it's going to be easy. Uh, safety on the one. Yes, uh, two ball behind the two and the four, and one ball blocking the three. I think that would be a great shot. That's a perfect cue ball control there. Yes. How to get to the one ball? The two is far the from the cue ball, close to the uh, the five, so the jump is not on. If I'm going to shoot this, I'm going to use two rails on this, two rails on this right uh, rail. Oh, behind the eight. Of, yes, yes, behind the eight. Or it's a risky shot when you and you try to use one rail on that. Yeah, Cubo can, can scratch. scratch on the side, yes. Yeah, okay. we've heard you say, Roberto, a couple of times uh, about... Uh, uh, we talk about kick shots, about the route, how you go to that ball, and what chances you have to get a safety. Yes. So um, often you I'll don't know what will ahead. happen, but coming in two rails from this side or yes. one rail from that side, you have more outs. Outs. Yes. The percentage, you can see the outs. If I'm going to hit it here or here or here with this speed, you can see it goes. the reaction goes like this. And you can see... With the speed and the and the um, with the speed, you can see the percentage. It's a big chance. Well, Aushin's attempted escape was well off the mark. She was shaking her head in disbelief how far she missed it by. And now, what an opportunity for Deluna to close the gap even more.
Oh, 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 oh. oh. Wow. That's, that, it, that's a terrible shot. Sorry. Can't make anything else of it. On this table, it's really hard to use inside spin because it will slide most of the time. Yes. It will slide. And it looks like he stunned it instead of following through. Yeah. He stunned the shot. That's why it goes short instead of trying to be over the eight extension call this this could well be the turning point that will help jasmine to get back in the saddle yes this is a really important rack for jeffrey to come back oh. and <laughs> yes he made it perfectly Beautiful. with a <laughs> good shot good he, shot he played this he was pointing to the uh, area low on the table where the cue ball would go. And Jeffrey considered as one of the best jumper, cue jumper in Philippines. Yeah, that's why it looks like he's comfortable to jump that shot. Wow. Hmm. Could have been a turning point. But recovered yeah. that like a magician. Jeffrey's getting more comfortable on the table, but he's still doing a lot of mistakes there. But we still can't say because these two players are great. Okay then, he's back in the match, Deluna, by hook or by crook. He's not playing his best by any means, but now he's only one frame adrift. Around this Marshall Arena, most of the lights are now dimmed because 
the majority of the 16 tables aren't in action. Just a few left. One player who got over the line, Imran Majid, well known in GB9 pool circles, beating Alex Montpellier from France 9-5. He's a very capable sort, Imran. Thank you. Rack 10. Jeffrey De Luna to break. As far as I can see, this Berlin afternoon, four, only two five. matches are left out there. Marcel Price from Wales leads Benjamin Belhassen from France, 8-6. And of course, this one. I think he's going to slam the ball again. Oh, that's another, a new style again. The last one he breaks, his hands is on the rail. But this one is like, he's using a close bridge with a... It's been a long time that I was competitive, but I, I sort of remember how it was when you start to lose confidence about the break. So, so you go into the tournament thinking, okay, I do this, and if that doesn't <laughs> work, I do that. But then you lose confidence, and they, you can be all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so frustrating. Right. Yeah, it's so frustrating. And you had two good breaks, and then you think you find it, and then you change yes, it again. Yes, you change it again. He oh. was practicing the break the whole time, and he said to me that he, I'm going to use it the whole time, and now he's changing everything. You can run into the five here. That's the next right. ball, the purple five. Jeffrey loves to draw all the time. If you will let me shoot that shot, I'm gonna bump the five. Stand follow. To be sure. To, to be, be sure, sure yeah. the position is because open. if you miss hit that draw shot, you could be behind the seven. Behind the seven. Or sometimes because you're afraid to be behind the seven, you you don't stroke it. You and don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you go forward. <laughs> Extension no. call. Ooh, this is All right, uh, this is tough one. I think uh, he's going to put a position on the six, playing on the left side of the corner pocket. That's the leave a th cut. Yeah, I think he will draw it with the. Oh, he used it like oh, that's a good shot too. Yeah, to be sure, you know it's not the ideal position, but well, it's it's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. You want to leave yourself a shot. That's the most but important. Jeffrey looks like he's not comfortable. Every time he shoots, he moves. He had to stay still all the time. Had to stay still. Well, it's how you finish the match. It's <laughs> only ha well, it's only halfway. Yesterday, Shane van Boning played on the TV table against a, a Czech player, Urban, uh -huh. and the first five six breaks, uh, Shane did not look good. But guess what? He finished with a seven pack. Wow. Wow. It's perfect. I played almost perfect last night. Not until the last rack and it struggles me every shot <laughs> making. So Deluna with a very routine nine ball to come all the way back from 5-0 down onto level terms yes. at 5-5. Five, five. He has the momentum, there's no doubt about that, but he will not be complacent in any way, shape or form. You go through the curtain at the end and it's down in the far corner. You want to go as well? That's fine. Yeah. Same way in the far corner. So these are the stats of the match thus far. N to no one surprise, Jeffrey De Luna, in terms of breaking, well, you know, you expect him to break big and run out, but it's not really materialised to that degree. Ball spotted, 45-45, couldn't be closer. De Luna's missed five pots to Aushan's three, even though they're on level terms. Ashen's safety errors, five to De Luna's three. It's all a mixed bag, really. 
Now, that is the only other table in operation at the moment. Table four, it is Benjamin Belhassen against Marcel Price. This is a nine ball to get the job done. The man from Wales comes through. The price is right, at least for now. So both of them have nipped out of the arena. And for once, it's a very unique occurrence here. We've got no other matches to go to. This is the only game in town. Looking at the evening matches, I'll tell you what, we're in for some absolute <laughs> treats tonight well in the losers' well qualification. Well. What about Joshua Filler against Sergei Lutzka? That's over on table 16 later. Mario He and Tyler Steyer, they are on table one, first up this evening. And they're all trying to capture the World Tour Championship title, the blue ribbon of this particular sport. There you can see Carlo Biardo, the last Filipino winner of this event in 2017 in Doha, in Qatar. Sitting on my right-hand side is Roberto Gomez, who hopes to emulate his fellow countrymen and get his name etched on the trophy. He almost did in 2007 in Quezon City in his homeland, but he was beaten by Daryl Peach, an English winner of this title, as was Darren Appleton a few years later. Yeah, that final Darren Appleton when he played. Let's look at the format first. Yeah, 128 players started out. Some of them have been eliminated now. Double elimination early on. Then when we get to the last 64 tomorrow, it is cutthroat. It is single elimination. It's a 30-second shot clock. Each rack, a player is allowed one 30-second extension. The group matches, well, they take place over nine racks. It's a race to nine. And then from the last 64 to the semi-finals, it's a race to 11 with a final. That's the most important match on the calendar. It is a race to 13, best of 25 racks. And the financial reward, well, it's a first prize of 50,000 US dollars. Rack 11. Jeffrey delivering it to break. So after that Five impromptu racks. break, it's a big break from DeLuna, that's guaranteed. We saw on the stats, 90% pot success for DeLuna. He packed back from 5-0 down to 5-5. He'll be content, but that 90% pot success, he needs to up that. If he is to have any chance to go deep in the tournament, he needs to hit 94, 95 at least. It's really interesting, Alex, you know, I know you do a lot of snooker commentary as well. And we always talk about in snooker, the benchmark for success at the highest level is 90%. Whereas in this game, it definitely is much higher. Push out for a jump. The jump is makeable, the one is makeable, yeah, but it's about position to the two ball. That's hidden behind the three. I don't, I, I wouldn't play this. I think, uh, yeah. Oh, she gave it back to him. As good as De Luna is, he needs to do a lot to see any part of the two ball if he sinks the one. Try to put the cue ball on the on the top left left uh, corner uh, left rail to get a long shot on the two. Asking a lot there. So Ashen's decision is vindicated. If he were, if it had been just about making the one, he would have been favorite to make it. Yeah, but yeah. He needed to use that's a lot of backspin. That's spin. true. He needs to use a spin there. It's going to be tough for him. And that's a perfect cue ball control there. Using two rails, it's 
in the angle now behind the at the bottom of the eight looks like it's a perfect uh, angle to go two rails there and what dividing the pressure didn't want to risk going two rails and contacting the eight so either an acute angle to cut the three into the left or a bank to the right. She's playing the cut shot. Make the ball. That's a steady it. good shot. Interesting shot this with the distance, the angle and the pressure out there. What, what do you play? Um, if you stun it, you go approximately to the corner, so it's either stun draw or follow it depends on this angle i think he, he she can she she can roll it if she's comfortable or she can stand it yeah but what is she comfortable with rolls the ball and I like rolls that. the ball now, that's, the most, like that's that. the most positive <laughs> shot that's, but, but players if they're yes. really feeling it out there they would maybe have punched it yes yes it's more accurate it's true that it's more accurate when you punch it for me, I will do the same like what you do. Now, finally, some rhythm again for Jasmine Ocean. That's perfect angle for Jasmine Ocean. It have been worrying times for the Austrian. 5-0 lead evaporated. He's looking to get one back again. And regaining the lead over Jeff De Luna. She's back on the lead again. The one thing that hasn't changed about Yasmin Aushin is Jeffrey De Luna has fought back is that she's remained decisive and that's a good sign. She is back in front by a single rack at 6-5. Now she'll be feeling a whole lot better. It was a, a sinking feeling as De Luna came back onto level terms. Now she's got a foothold again. Now I believe that Michael is chatting with someone who we're going to see on the main table this evening, Tyler Steyer. That's absolutely right, Phil. Yes, Tyler is with me. Tyler, you played tonight. You know what you've got to do. It's simple. Must win. Yeah, absolutely. Have to win. How was your performance earlier, do you think? Uh, earlier, I didn't play my best. made a few mistakes. Um, my first match was good. Um, so hopefully going to try to bring the quality from the first match into this match. Um, Mario's a great player. He has a ton of experience on this table. So I'm just going to try and you know, beat him out. But you, you know, he's a player you know very well on the circuit, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what, what's it been like over the past few days? How's, the, how's your preparation been? How's the practice? Just lots of hours working on shots that you don't like, you know, all the dirty work that, you know, you need to do to, you know, play your best pool. And where would you prefer to play? I mean, people like playing on the outside. Carl likes playing on the outside tables, or would you like to be on the centre one? I like playing, playing here. Really, on the yeah, centre yeah, one? Yeah, every time. Every uh, match, if I could. Oh, really? Yeah, Fantastic. Well, you, you, know, you never know, you never know. Anyway, back to you, Phil. Thanks, Michael. He's got a, a dual job here as Tyler Steyer. He wants to go deep into this tournament. Rack 12. But he also wants to catch the There's eye to break. of the US Leading Moscone Cup five. captain and try and get back in that side. A man who was in the side last time, Chris Robinson, now called Chris Reinholdt. Well, he's gone 0-2. He's out of the tournament, beaten by Tim De Reuter this afternoon. Well, it looks like a bad rack there. And, uh, in that they didn't open up fully, yes. But I would focus, if I were here, on control of the cue ball on the next break. She's having difficulty uh, with that cue ball. It keeps going down table. Looks like the poor 
nine dead straight on the side pocket looks like first take care of the two ball <laughs> yeah you're right she needs an angle drift across Ooh. Oh, that's, Ooh, a that's a roll that's a <laughs> Now, interesting now, the Luna. Big miss from our ocean, but the Luna sees half of the two ball. Needs but to avoid the double kiss. That's the trick here. You are right on that. And it looks like it's an open. Uh, it was huge. It was super difficult to avoid the kiss. Yes. A good <laughs> guideline. The rule of thumb is if the cue ball and the object ball are in one line towards the pocket, yes, that you should not try to go behind the ball, cross yes. it and go behind. You are. There are ways to avoid goal. the kiss, but it's super hard. <laughs> I learned it in one pocket. Yeah. What's you cannot that? Do it. <laughs> I learned what? it in one pocket. What every time I pocket? cross a bank, before when I was doing every time I cross a bank, mm -hmm. I always, I always double hit. Them. <laughs> Slide, boop, perfect. Pressure is mounting. The pressure is mounting. Like I think we've seen like three phases in the match. First five, five zero, then the next five racks. The comeback from the Luna, where he was playing okay, and we saw some mistakes from Ocean. But now we're getting to the closing stages. And also, you know, the role she had there, the ancillary bonus was the fact that she solved, unintentionally, that congestion between four and nine. So now it's out in the open. It's a good shot, come out high on the five. Not too much angle. She will be fine on that uh, shot. She can use one rail. Just roll it one rail. It seems, Roberto, you're very good at judging the angle from the screen. Because you've made some good calls. <laughs> like where I'm still thinking, can she get past the six? And you already you call just, it. Yeah, just roll it like that. And play the six on the left side of the corner pocket. Follow through two rails. Play the seven on the right corner pocket i think or she can stand up i think she's going to stand it yeah come back to six seven and the, nine same, to the pocket, same pocket all of it all of them in the same pocket the safety after missing that two ball by half a diamond but hey it's all in the game that's what you need this nine ball game there it is has she weathered a mid-match storm jasmine Aushan led five nil was pegged back to five five now she's in front seven five and that man jeffrey de luna is under a mountain of pressure
Okay. We've had a whole load of matches in this vast arena this afternoon. One remains, and it's on the main match table, and it could provide the story of the day so far, because Jasmine Aushin is breaking off in rack 13, leading Jeffrey De Luna 7-5. That's her best break in the match so far. Well, this one in the first, square on the one ball. Yeah. And trying to keep the cue ball center table, but it, it got kissed up table. The one hit the jaw. And the other ball kicked the cue ball out. <laughs> yeah. So more defensive play. Cannot see the one. Yeah. She's going to push here for sure. And she could even choose to pocket the four. I don't think she will. But in a push out, you can even contact the one. Well, on this 100%, he's going to give it to her back. Yeah, this is the second time in the sure. match that the like rolling the ball on the push out she failed to put the cue ball where she wanted i don't think this is traveled far enough i think she'd better better shoot it shoot it straight on where she wants to use it sh to put it the wow. seconds, please. Yeah. Okay. i like using a rail actually for just for speed control i i, I like it more but yeah, on that, but on that situation, I'd rather play it straight on the rail I want to. Should try to get deep underneath the one. But oh, that wow. Was oh, wow. Great. So that's, that's the nice thing about the push out. So this shot is what Jeff De Luna studied. But Jasmine put it so sharp, so difficult, that he didn't fancy it. That's the the bluff that you play in push-outs. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Deservedly so. She's won the last two push-out battles. The other yes. one where Jeff played push-out for the jump, she gave it back. Balls flying all over the table here, and when they finally came to rest, you saw Deluna's shoulders slump. Pushouts is really a very big thing that you can give. Uh, you have to give your opponent a 50 50 percent yeah. choice. You want to make them play a shot or that they, that yes. they don't want to play, but yes. they feel they need to. They need to, the, the, it considers as what character of a player your opponent is. It's, yeah, it's good very point. important. Yeah, good it's point. So, an important. aggressive player, you want to make him play a passive Ye shot, and a passive player, yeah. you want to make give him <laughs> a stroke are, shot or a big shot. You are right, yeah. It's, it depends. This is testy with the four ball so close to the pocket. As long as she avoids the eight, she will have some sort of a shot on the five. She's trying to use it rail first, no, rail and a ball on a rail, and uh, well, that's a good shot. <laughs> oh, that's wow, a great that's shot! That's a great <laughs> shot. Oh, that's an awesome shot because now she is in such a way on the five ball that she doesn't need to think about the nine. She came closer yes. to the side pocket than she fancied, but the result is sweet. What she a shot! I think she's gonna make it a little simple. Extension call. Put the cue ball in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the table and.
cut the six yeah, on the corner pocket. The gotcha. Or she can put it on the rail, on the side rail. Well. How's her angle? Nice. A trace of left spin. She missed the six ball earlier, where she played like two, three tips left spin. She doesn't need so much right now. One tip, a little speed is good enough. Shot. It looks like a three rail, three rail shot here. Oh, or Side pockets are just tricky. bump it. Bump the cue ball on the rail. It's how simple she is. Some could be surprised her here and about the angle she's left herself on the eight, but better a lot of angle than no angle. Yes. And she will do the three rail, three rail. Well, for me, I'm going to use a three rail there, but it looks like she's going to use a two rail and the nine. This is good. Mm. Killer from Klagenfurt. One more ball, and then she's on the hill with a nice buffer. Eight three it gives you some air. This is what is very important that you have to put all your weapons out out of your <laughs> cue case no <laughs> because the 30 second shot clock is too short. Well, there it is, the nine ball in, and the 35 year old from the land of the mountains finds herself on the hill. Jasmine Ashen leads 8 5, one rack away from the loser's qualification round, where Imran Majid already finds himself and he's chatting with Michael. Imran, many congratulations. You knew you just had to win it. That was the key. That was the key. I had no choice. Uh, either win it or go home and uh, get slapped by the missus. <laughs> you're, well, you're certainly not going home. You're staying and you face Jason Shaw, which could be a cracker. It could be a cracker, yes. I've known Jason a long time. Uh, we know each other's game well and um, it'll be a good match. Played him a few times. Were there nerves in the, your previous match, knowing that you just had to win? There's always nerves, yeah. You're playing in the World Pool Championship, the biggest stage in the world of pool, and um, there's always going to be jitters. And, um, you know, um, I handled the pressure well, though. I was, we were 4-4, and I, I ran five racks, I think, yeah. In the next few hours, are you going to have time to sort of relax, or are you going to do some practicing? What are you, how are you going to approach it? I'm going to hit balls. I'm going to hit balls, yeah, because it's still early in the tournament, and, um, you know, I've been in lockdown for a year and a half, and just got to hit as many balls as I can. I haven't really played. My preparation for this tournament has been uh, non-existent, to say the least. So uh, just going to put some balls. Well, congratulations on your win, and we wish you well tonight. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Jasmine Ocean to break. Wearing there that Jimmy White logo and wheels within wheels. The winner of this match will take on Mark Gray in the losers' qualification round. Mark Gray, his greatest snooker achievement, was beating Jimmy White in the British Open many moons ago. Uh oh. Ball stroke, ball in hand. Uh oh. Wow. Nice chance for the Luna. But that's all you need. Ball in hand at the table. Have your fate in your own hands. But the layouts of the ball is quite funny. Whoa, uh, funny. You, you have to. <laughs> I don't think Jeff thinks it's funny. It's super tough. It's like a combo on the seven ball. Try to figure out where the three ball goes. Well, the three ball will come around to far. I like. Just in an open field, in an in open yeah, area. Yeah, open field. So, so played with speed. But first, needs to study his exact angle on the three seven. Yeah, from here I play this with speed. Stun draw, get the cue ball center table, and Sen and the three around to five nine. Yep. That will be the idea, I think. Uh, end up, it will end up on the top left corner pocket. Yeah, you could hit the four, the three ball. 
Oh, you mean the right corner pocket? <laughs> there you go. No, 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 no. You should left. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. He will draw one rail here. Pretty sure. Yeah, not. I'm pretty sure that's oh, Jeffrey. Yeah. I know him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know him. Well, but for me, I'm gonna use two rails there. Stun yeah, draw. And cut, cut the four. The same. The advantage on the of five. playing two rails is that you're coming into the ball, and if you're drawing one rail, you're coming across a bit more. Yeah, but I really know Jeffrey the Luna yeah. that he loves to draw better than follow through. This for this shot for me like. Cutting softly, Cutting no spin, super difficult. Wow. Could that be Jeffrey DeLuna's last act in this World Championship? Hit it thick. Yeah, subconsciously thinking about that cue ball and the speed. Yeah, the, to the people out there watching this uh, match, I'm telling you, it just Extension looks goal. like the, the, the pocket is big, but it's not. If she makes the four little speed, she will stay on the right side of the five and has no future there. Let no me future, ask you something, maybe guys. a cut. Let me ask you something, guys. Uh, what is the... Uh, how big, uh, how small the pocket is? It's like four inches, four I think? Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. But you have different uh, parameters that come into play, like how deep is the shell? Yes. How deep the yes. drop? Yes, um, yes. It's the like angle of the jaws? Yeah, I can see that the, 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 how, deep the, how deep the shelf is. But well. overall, what I see, these Arcadia tables, the Predator tables, mm -hmm. look to be playing very nice. They, they, they're inviting people to play. Yes, it really looks so. Uh, it really looks perfect to me, especially when I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life is good well, when you're winning. <laughs> yeah, life is good when I'm winning. Aushan is That's now just a couple is. of pots away from victory here. What? What a story this is. Holding herself together so well. The way the match has progressed, remember, she was 5-0 ahead. DeLuna came back to 5-5. I, for one, thought he was going to pull away from there. Not so. Well, it looks like that's the... That's... That's it for Jeffrey. The nine ball to right... An extraordinary story. It's been a wonderful afternoon for female pool. Kelly Fish has won, Christina Takach has won, and Jasmine Aushin has won. You can see what it means to her, and quite rightly so. She advances into the loser's qualification round to take on Mark Gray, having claimed a mammoth scalp. Jeffrey DeLuna, out.